Go. Go, Romeo. Romeo's ready for departure. Zero two. Go, Romeo. Romeo, take off at your discretion. Zero two. Surface wind zero three zero one eight. Go, Romeo. Romeo. Nobody coming down final. That isn't zero two. That's zero two relief. And there are the numbers right over there. Go on, you bring to everybody yeah. to Too far for on uh, one, two, three, that's Well, I don't want to go over that, but full chat. Oh, there's a gap between them, isn't there? There is, but you still want to be... Because there could be bits of gravel and shit. Yeah. But I'm going to roll on from there. You good? Are you happy? Yeah, ready to go. Copy of Victor Brutcher. Can report lining up zero two. Copy of Victor lining up zero two. And the wind's coming from the right. I should have had my stick over there. And uh, Gold and Victor, the uh, replay in front of you is going to five in corner. With that in mind, take off at your discretion, zero two, surface wind, zero three zero one eight knots. Take off zero two and uh, go for traffic, Gold and Victor. Golf Oscar Victor, the cross on reaching, and if you can make it to the uh, far end of the apron. Where's your boat? Dave, cross me for on reach. Uh, just down, down on the medway here. Do you want to see it? But you're virtually going to fly over it anyway. Yeah, we'll go through a climb straight out, yeah, shall we? Come straight, straight out, right. and uh... Okay, report downwind following... Keep like slightly to the left of where you are now. 32. Which is where they want you to be anyway. Golf India, brother. And if you continue like this, we'll almost fly overhead it. Oh yes, sorry, yes, South End. Are we we got up. No, you're right in South End. Um, well, it doesn't start until the north bank of the river, and it, okay. when, it, when it comes, um, you, you, when the 1500 foot bit comes. But if you just drive up the river here, where it curves round to the right, yep. we're, we're actually down sort of down over there. But I'll show you. I'll show you when we get there. I'm glad I saw Matt. Yes, but that was the Matt I was trying to explain to you. Yeah, well, I was no way I was, no way I was going to no. remember him. But you still, if you go to Damon's Hall, you'll often find them. They sort of swap over. They fly yeah. here to Damon's Hall, Damon's Hall to here with their students. You know, they, they swap students around. Yeah, so that's what I've been in there. That's Hooness Marina. Yes. And if you stay on this angle at the moment, and then uh, I'll, I'll tell you when. But also, Yvon, remember my mate Yvon? Oh, yeah. He had a boat that was up at Stoke Creek. Oh, that's quite close bit, to the Stoke yeah, Airfield. Yeah, that's a bit further down towards the power station. But I should, mine should hove into view. Just, can I go to stick a second? Yeah, but go this way a bit first and it'll be easier to see. Just about every time I took, every time I went okay. sailing with him. If you look down there now, see there's one, see there's a line of yachts, see the flats. Like this side of the thing. This side, and yeah. there's one yeah. fishing boat, just there on the inside. On the, oh, no, I see, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. on its own, so that's, that's it. There. That's yours. Yeah. How do you get out to that then? Where do you, oh, there's, there's a slip. No, go come out from that side. Oh, bugger me, so you have to be that side of the river. Yeah, but there's a little boat service that runs at weekends, so you oh, just jump on the, and the man takes you out there, and then at other times we've got a dinghy. Yeah. So you could take that on inland waterways? Uh, we can go up as first as, as far as the first lock, and then we have to pay a licence fee to go any further. Oh yeah, but you do fit in the locks. Yeah, you've got oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You can fly us home. Yes, it does, and we come down here and we go fishing, and they started taking down the power stations because they've converted them all to gas. Yeah. Uh, or not converted, they've built new ones that work on gas. And they're slowly dismantling, you know, Kings North and Grain. They're taking them all apart. So when the, when Mr. Putin turns the gas off, we're completely fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and then Stoke is where well, you sort of take off from Stoke and go. I just actually can't. Oh, I can just about see Stoke. Uh, in between, yeah. There's the power station on the left, and there's the power station on the right. And there's some yellow things coming across. And if you look to the right-hand end of the yellow things, 
and then just go up an inch on the screen. That's smoke in there. Yes, we did go in there in the garden. Do you remember? I think we did. Yes, we were, we were thinking of uh, basing it there at one time. Yes. We should say goodbye to Kelvin. Yeah. I've got from here, Ramia, well clear of the zone, and uh, see you again sometime. Bye bye. Ramia, yeah, Ramia, happy landing. Surface wind still much the same. Zero three zero at uh, two zero knots. Got from here, Ramia, out. Every time I went sailing with Yvonne, we went to ground. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You could only get off about half an hour either side of the town, of the tide, right down the Ah, right, down the creek. And I just kept getting it wrong, and I just couldn't believe how shallow it was, and it was always my fault. Yeah. No, it, it, it can get really shallow. I mean, the tide's fairly well in, and in fact, it's almost top of the tide. Yeah, but, I think so. But the whole place looks completely different at uh, yeah, yeah. low water. Than, well, you've, you've been there. And one time, I went aground not far off Hooness Marina. Yeah. Luckily, somebody came and got us. <laughs> and um, took us off, and then we sat in there, so we were sitting in the proper yacht club, ha ha ha, we're yeah. feeling so, so flash. They said, so when are we going to come and get it? We could come and get it. the next tide is going to be about 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, or the next one's going to be following you know, Sunday lunchtime, and we'll lose our Sunday lunch. And I said, well, actually, you know, we're going to have to come back early in the morning. And they said, why is that then? I said, because we didn't put any anchors down, oh, did we? <laughs> <laughs> Float away. <laughs> So we had to come out and try and get out to there at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning with a knackered seagull. It would just, other than tick over, you could just about get it to tick over. You couldn't get any revs out of it at all. Starting corner traffic, uh, Golf Romeo. Romeo is inbound from the dead side. We'll be joining for a runway. What should we join for? 06? 06. Zero six. Starting corner. So it's down there. So you may want to consider taking control whenever you like. I may. There's, I can see it, yes. I have it then. Do you have the top of the main band? And there's a tractor out, but it's not a factor to us, I don't think. So you've got it here, yeah? Happy? Yeah. And the wind's still straight down the runway. Yeah. And on this setting, we are about 600 feet above the runway at the moment. Uh, um, you, it's on Q&H, isn't it? It's on Q&H, yes. Yeah. yeah, do you want 400 wound off? Or no, you I'll just do it by eye, once I can see the airfield again. There she is. There it is. Fighting traffic, off Romeo, Romeo, late downwind, 406. Ten degrees of flat, so at least it's configured that way. That's all gone, that's all gone. Off the runway. Back there. There it is. Orange house with the orange roof is a good uh, That's lemon. the one, yeah. Don't yes. overshoot it because you'll be above the pylons. And it can get a bit funny over the trees. As long as you're not carrying too much speed. Not? No. No, it's, yeah. Oh, I've missed it. Okay, I, th I thought you was, it look, all looked a bit too high. I was aiming for those one underneath the yeah. pylons. Okay, well. Not from here, Ramos, going round. And we get away with that because we're just telling the tractor that we're inbound. Right. Who's not going to come across the runway anyway because he's doing the uh, other side of the field. I didn't like the picture. I was about to say. Well, I was going to say. I'm currently on the centre line for zero 06, aren't I? No. And you would have said no. <laughs> That's an easy, easy mistake to make, because uh, it's you, you don't fly here very often now. <laughs> I was looking at it and I was thinking, uh, he's told me about the fence at the end, but I remembered there was some grass beyond the fence at the end. So there's the orange yeah. house, there's yeah. the runway, right. So you want to be downwind a little bit further, really. Well, with this much wind, well, I'm all right. Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. Right, it's just as long as I don't lose track of it. All I needed to do was just keep looking at the fucker. Yeah. Right, we'll have full flat for this. Yes. 
possibly a two the high. <laughs> yeah. but, but I'm used to flying Gardens. Don't forget the pylons in there. Bad. Well, you would have been able to land on the old length of runway because that's where the hitch that's is where it was. Yes, if I'm that's 385 yards. I've, I've uh, recently have been just been almost stopping dead. I'm being very good at possibly very draggy approaches. I must still, say, still you, fast. You didn't get a launch with the the, the bump that you felt to go over. See that launches the G Y yeah. back up into the air.